Ratna, a former Goodwood police station commander. He was fired after a disciplinary hearing. A one tempered with the blood sample of ANC heavyweight Tony Yengeni. Unlike rogue cops like Ewana who were fired, others still wear the police badge. Parliament has been given a breakdown of these officers by rank. 129 constables, 267 sergeants, 716 warrant officers, uh, 84 lieutenants, 163 captains, 43 lieutenant colonels, 10 majors, 21 colonels, 10 brigadiers, and one major general. 300 police officials falsified their fingerprints. They did this at the time of employment to conceal their criminal records. In our audit and process of checking, we have found out that there are instances where the system has been breached by members who take fingerprints using other people's hands. Mazibugo considered that the police force was ill-disciplined. He said before a member could be dismissed, the outcome of a disciplinary process had to be ratified by a senior officer. Mazibuko said some of these officers turned a blind eye to it. I listened to the general listing the crimes that were committed by the police. I couldn't write all of them, but the, the few I wrote were all scheduled one offenses. Schedule one of murder, attempted murder, rape, culpable homicide. That's done by the police. Mazibuko asked the committee to give them at least a year to finalize all disciplinary processes. Parliament wants this resolved before a year has elapsed. Vuyani Green, SABC News, Parliament. Chief Ria Piecha says tensions in the mining sector cannot only be blamed on union rivalry. She was launching the Mine Crime Combating Forum at Rustenburg in the Northwest. The forum comprises mining companies, traditional authorities and labor. Union AMCU was not present.